Did you know that you can use a nano VNA as a signal generator? Or even a low power beacon? Watch this video and I'll tell you how to do it. If you want to set it up as purely a single frequency signal generator, that is transmitting a dead unmodulated carrier, then you need to disable it sweeping across the multitude of frequencies it normally does. What you do is you go to stimulus and you set your start frequency. Let's say that you want seven megahertz. So you just select seven and you want your stop frequency also to be seven megahertz. The result is a nice steady carrier on seven megahertz. So you could use your nano DNA as a local oscillator for a homebrew receiver or a converter or maybe even a QRP transmitter. All you need to do is add a few extra stages to amplify it and key it and you're on the air on CW. You could even try feeding its output into a balance modulator for double sideband. Add some extra stages like some RF and audio phase shift and two balance modulators for SSB, the phasing method. Or you could amplitude modulate it by applying some modulation to the final RF amplifier stage. So basically if you want a signal on almost any frequency the nano DNA can do it for you. As far as the RF power output it's only going to be a few milliwatts. Next thing I'll do is I'll set the start and stop frequency slightly differently from one another. I've got the start frequency on 7035 and I'll put the stop frequency on 7036. As for where the output is coming from, it's coming from channel 0. Here's 5 kilohertz. A range like this might be useful if you're testing crystal filters. If you're doing these experiments on VHF or UHF, like with an FM handheld to do a range test, then you can make the signal sound unique by having a sweep over a narrow range. Let's say plus or minus 15 kilohertz. About half the time the signal will be within the band pass of the receiver and the other half it won't, giving you a distinct sound like this. I'll just unlock the squelch. Now I've got the nano VNA connected into a magnetic loop. And reassuringly, looking at the scale, there's a nice big SWR dip. Next thing is to see what you get when you put the output of the nano VNA, operating as a signal generator, into the video input of a black and white TV. This is 500 kilohertz to 2 megahertz. Not very impressive, so we'll try a different range. A little bit more interesting, this is down at 100 kilohertz, so we'll go to an even lower frequency. This is down at uh, 10 kilohertz, going up to 2 megahertz. Well, it's getting a bit more interesting. Now, the rolling you are seeing, if you are seeing it, is only on the camera and not actually on the screen. So just to summarize, a lot you can do with a nano VNA, including use as a signal generator. No doubt many other possibilities, and I've just skimmed the surface in this quick video.